guys, Barbara here from BarbaraMakesCrafts.com and welcome to my channel. My mission here is to teach and inspire you to level up your crafting game. So I have tons of vinyl scraps which have been scattered all over my craft room until just recently. I put them all into one cardboard box and I intend to use those scraps for projects that I will be selling in a store that my husband and I are opening soon. So today I want to show you five things that you can make and sell using your vinyl scraps. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need your vinyl scraps, of course, and I'm going to be using heat transfer vinyl as well as the permanent adhesive vinyl for these projects today. You're going to need your Cricut or your Silhouette or other cutting machine that uses SVG files, and you will need a cutting mat unless you're using Smart Vinyl and I'm just going to be using Standard Grip Green Cutting Mat. You're going to need your weeding tools and I use these stab and grab tweezers mostly, and you are gonna need some blanks to make these projects. And I'll be sure and link in the description box, I'll link to all these products below. So let's head on over to Design Space and get this party started. Okay, so here we are in Design Space and we've got a, a blank canvas so we can start a new project. And I um, have already uploaded most of the designs that we're going to use today. I have plenty of videos showing you how to do that. So for the interest of time, I'm just using some of my previously uploaded projects. Okay, and the first one I want to do is this Faith of Fear. I want to do this for the car coasters. And I'm just going to select Customize and select All and I'm gonna measure my car coaster, two and a half inches. So we are going to bring in a shape. We're gonna bring in a circle and we're gonna turn it white and make it two and a half inches. All right, so that's two and a half inches. So we want to shrink this. I'm going to use the double arrows and just shrink it down so that it is less than two and a half inches. And you can see we need to move that to the front. So we'll just click on arrange right here and we're going to bring it to the front so we can see it. Faith over fear. I think that looks pretty good. So we are going to hide the circle because we're not going to print it but we might need it later on. And then I'm gonna take Faith over fear and duplicate it. All right, and then I'm gonna move these out of the way. And the next thing that I wanna do, I have not yet played with this new feature, this monogram, so let's see how it works. This is for the car decal. So let's make it elegant, I like elegant. So we've got these textiles. Let's see what we can choose. And then we can choose these styles down here. So it looks like it's showing us which ones are cut images. All right, so I like this one, I believe. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, I see, okay. So we're going to make this, my initials are B, S, W. So we're going to do W. Okay, so we'll do that and add it to the canvas. And a car decal, my car, this two and a half inches would be probably way too big anyway, but a normal size car decal, we're going to make it um, about four inches. So again, we'll go up here and just change that. 
All right, we have that one, this one for the coasters, and then I wanted to do one more, which is the charger, decal for the charger, and measure this to be, it's, it's one inch and it's a cube, so we know it's one inch, and it's one inch high too. So for this one, I do need to upload uh, a new image. All right, so we're going to choose complex, and it is fine like it is. Measured, we'll just do the cut image, and it comes pre-measured. All right, so we want this to be four inches. Okay, so that looks better. To show you, and we are going to cut these out of different colors, so let's make the car decal white, and then this... I want to make it kind of a, a reddish color. We've got everything on our canvas like we want it, and we want to make it. And let me show you. Okay, so it separates automatically. It separates everything by color. It looks like faith over fear is one color. The monogram, oh I see it wants to cut those separately. Okay, that's okay. We can work around that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the monogram and just click on these three little dots and you see it says move object and so we want to move it to the first mat so we'll just click on the first mat and confirm. All right, and then I'm gonna put it right about there. Next, we want to do this one, and we're gonna do the same thing. Just click on it, move object, and move it to the first mat. Confirm. And lastly, we're gonna do this one that wants to cut a different color, which is fine. We can do that. We can cut it a different color. So, but again, we're gonna do move object, we want to move it to the first mat and confirm. And there's our nice little square. All right. So what we're going to do now is arrange everything on the mat. I want my two faith over fears to be black. So I'm going to take a black scrap. And it is, if you can see here on the screen, this is between one the one inch mark and the two inch mark and to the right of the mat it's just over it's about it goes out to about the four and a half inch mark so what I want to do is make sure that I have enough vinyl for the project but I don't want to have too much because it might overlap with another piece that we're going to cut so we want to make sure this is at least two inches tall and it is it's about four inches so I want to I want to cut it down actually you know what I don't want to cut it down that direction because I want to move this down to cut down there and I may have to do the same thing with this but I do want to cut it to be about five inches wide so we can cut on the other side of the mat. So I'm going to put this like so onto the mat. And then on the next piece, I want to put my wine color for my decal. And we know we don't want it to be more than an inch tall. This is two, almost three inches. So what I'm going to do is cut it down to about two inches. All right, and now we've got our monogram, which we decided would be white. So I've got some white here and I can see on my screen that 
The monogram piece is between five and seven inches. Let me just move this up closer to the five inches so I can actually see. So it's right at an inch tall. I want to cut this and about, one, two, about three inches wide. So I'm gonna cut this to be about four inches wide. We can see that the decal here is four inches wide. So that's what we need is four by four. So now we're going to continue and it's asking us to set the base material which we're using premium vinyl permanent glossy and I am going to set the pressure to more and then we'll load it in And there we go. So while it cuts, I'm going to hope this doesn't interfere with anything and open a new design space and go ahead and start designing our iron-on that we can use with scraps. So the, the first one that I want to do is going to be uh, t-shirt pockets. So let's see what I have in my uploads. I know this is simple, it's just a simple heart, but I really love hearts. So again, I'm gonna click on Customize and measure our T-shirt pocket decal. And we're gonna put it about right there. So I'm gonna make it about three inches. So let's just do three by three. And the next one I want to upload from my uploads, as seen on ultrasound. I had a great niece born last year, and I wanted to put this on a shirt for her, but I never got around to it. So I'm going to put it on this t-shirt. There it is. And so the designs, let's do three inches down and two and a half. Okay, so. Now I want to just pull this vinyl off. Okay, so I'm going to go back here and hit make it. And then go to this mat, click on that ellipsis, and move object to the first mat. And then just pull that away. And we'll pull it. it, it doesn't have to be the other side of the mat or below for that matter. But we'll just put it right, put it at about four inches. Okay, so the heart, we want to be red. So I'm, I have, this is a, a good bit of scrap iron on vinyl. Um, but it's still a scrap nonetheless because it's all cut in weird shapes. You'll see in just a minute. But oh, and before we move on, we need to mirror the images. So our heart is about three inches wide and almost three inches high. So we'll we'll do four by three. Continue. 
a transfer. We're going to do more pressure. And okay. So while that is cutting, so we know that I love my stab and grab tweezers from 143vinyl.com. So I'm going to start with those. to get some Cricut transfer tape, which I just happened to have scraps of. And we are going to cut, this is gonna be a little tricky. We're gonna cut our transfer tape to the same size as this large decal. to be right in the center because I want it to be right in the center on the decal. So I'm just using the taco method, going to center it up, kind of trying to look at the grid lines as I go. Okay, so far so good. So now what we want to do once again, I want to use the taco method and I want to kind of center it up using the grid lines and the edges of the paper. And there's your card decal that you could sell. Scraps. You used pennies to make this, and you could probably sell something like this for, I'd say, 5 to $7. So, this is a good profit maker. Now, let's move on to the next thing. We'll do the car coasters next. coaster that you could sell. You could put them on big coasters too if you wanted to. Real cute, I think. And lastly, for the permanent adhesive vinyl is the charging cube. And this should be really super easy. something fun in there monogram like I meant to put a B in there actually for Barbara but I think it's cute I think you get the idea now I don't know how much you could sell these for because I I've, I've not actually priced these little cubes in bulk so I'll have to get an update on that all right so now to the fun ironing projects we'll do the t-shirt first on. All right, let's 
let's see. This is neoprene. So we're just going to lay that like so. We need to leave this. What do you think? I think that turned out really good. All right, let's see how the heart is doing on the t-shirt. And that looks nice too. So everybody's always in the market for t-shirts. You can make a little, any kind of design um, that you want to put there like that's a pocket or get a pocket t-shirt and put it on the pocket. But those are cute. So that was pretty easy. And you can make extra money selling these uh, products. So if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And I would be honored if you would subscribe to my channel. It's a little thing that means so much to me. And be sure to hit the notification bell so you won't miss a single minute of this crafty goodness. And if you make any of these crafts, I'd love to see your pictures on my Facebook page, and I will link to that in the description box below. Well, that's it for today. So until I see you next time, happy crafting.